Does shocking your grandma help with her memory? Well, let's talk about it in Neuro3, where we discuss neuroscientific studies in 3 minutes. Start the clock! In their study, Schrager Grover and colleagues used a non-invasive brain stimulation technique called transcranial alternating current stimulation, which is abbreviated as TACS. As the name suggests, TACS applies alternating currents to the brain. However, these currents are relatively weak, typically smaller than 25 volts. So despite some occasional tingling feeling, TACS is a safe method. Nevertheless, the current is just strong enough to have a small effect on the brain. But why would somebody want to use an alternating current to the brain? Well, when our brain is active, brain cells communicate by being activated in synchrony. This means that our brain activity is oscillating, which leads to a pattern that is colloquially referred to as brainwaves. And these brainwaves have different functions, depending on where they are in the brain and how fast they oscillate. So by applying an alternating current from the outside, the idea is to strengthen the brain waves in a particular region of the brain. If everything works as hypothesized, this could increase brain function. Grover and colleagues applied TACS to 150 elderly volunteers for 4 days. Before, during and after stimulation, memory performance was tested. And the memory task was simple. Participants were presented with 20 words, which they had to memorize. The TACS was applied to two regions, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the inferior parietal lobule. To target these regions optimally, the researchers used computational models to estimate how the electric currents would distribute in the brain. Furthermore, they applied TACS at two different frequencies to target two different types of brain waves, so-called theta waves and so-called gamma waves. In two additional conditions, a so-called sham stimulation was given, which imitates the feeling of real stimulation without actually stimulating the brain. This was done to control for possible placebo effects. So let's take a look at the results. In the inferior parietal lobule, strengthening theta waves, but not gamma waves, led to increased memory performance. And this effect was mainly observed for the last words of the sequence. So parietal lobule theta TACS increased the memory recency effect. In the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, however, only stimulation of gamma brain waves increased memory. In this case, primarily the words early in the sequence. This shows that prefrontal gamma TACS increased the memory primacy effect. Interestingly, the effects of 4 days of stimulation were still present one month after the experiment. Now, we should be cautious. More research is required, but it does suggest that TACS could possibly have positive after effects and could become a tool to boost brain activity and prevent or treat brain related disorders. Stop the clock! We hope you enjoyed this explanation about this study. And if you did, consider leaving a like. And as always, we hope to see you the next time.